It's a beautiful day for tech news. I'm guessing, because I haven't seen the sun in months. Google Stadia will apparently overcome the lag associated with streaming games by achieving something called negative latency. I, I guess. Stadia's oh, VP. Okay, we got a heckle from upstairs. <laughs> Stadia's VP of Engineering, Maj Bakar, even told Edge Magazine that in a year or two, games on Stadia will run faster and feel more responsive than games being run locally. And no, it won't even involve a time warp crystal. Stadia will apparently achieve this through a combination of incredibly powerful hardware in its data centers, which will run games at incredibly high frame rates, and by using AI to predict user inputs. Now everybody's been trashing this negative latency thing online because negative latency would literally mean that you see the results of your actions before you even do them. But as one computer engineer pointed out, what the Stadia rep means is, is probably something like branch prediction, a common technique used in processors. It just remains to be seen how well this technique will work when applied to fast paced combat in AAA games. My guess, not very well. Google is widely expected to reveal the Pixel 4 on Tuesday, and now we're pretty sure they'll be revealing something else as well. Thanks to 9to5Google leaking extensive photos and videos of the device, the Pixelbook Go is apparently Google's next flagship Chrome OS device. They rename these things every year. It's a clamshell laptop this time, as opposed to last year's Pixel Slate tablet. And what was it the year before that? It's book something. Who? Care. No one cared every time, that's why. <laughs> it's got a 13.3 inch 4K display, two USB-C ports, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. What are those? But more importantly, the bottom of the device has a ribbed texture, presumably to make it look a little less like a Google version of Apple's white plastic MacBook from 2004 or whatever that thing was. I had one of those. This one's different. Uh, you did? Yeah, it was great. The Pixelbook Go will reportedly run an Intel Core i7 CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage. But we'll get all the real details next week, because we're gonna be there, baby, Wait, at what? the launch. Stop wasting your time right now. You Don't listen to this. We'll, <laughs> the future. <laughs> and Valve has announced a new feature coming to Steam soon called Remote Play Together. It will allow gamers who aren't physically together to play local multiplayer together, as if they were together. together. You get it. The idea is this, <laughs> if you didn't get it, say I've got a game with split screen co-op, but Riley doesn't because he's cheap and he's waiting for it to appear on a Steam sale. I launch the game, then I invite Riley to play, then he controls a virtual local player on my machine, and the game streams from my rig to his, so we can both play. You, wow! You'll play with me? This is a hypothetical. While the feature could ensure that couch co-op games get played more often, it could also discourage people from actually coming over to play real couch co-op. And then, who's gonna eat the party-sized pretzel mix that I've been saving? Just kidding, it's gone. Now it's time for the Quick Brits, brought to you by Brilliant. Effective learning is active, not passive. It's better to dive in and to do things yourself than it is to just listen to hours of lectures from Riley. That's why Brilliant provides you with the frameworks you need to think about and solve math and science problems. They take complex concepts, break them up into bite-sized little chunks, and then build it all back up into an interesting conclusion. So join more than 5.5 million other members who share your same curiosity at brilliant.org slash techlinked. And the first 200 of you to do so will get 20% off. Check it out now at the link below. All right, you're back. Time for the quick bits. OnePlus has yet again launched another phone in the middle of the year, the OnePlus 7T Pro. But unlike the 7T, which launched as a pared down version of the OnePlus 7, the 7T Pro is actually an upgraded version of the 7 Pro. Very confusing. It's got a Snapdragon 855 Plus, but you know what? Who cares? Because it's not coming to North America anyway, and North America is the only part of the world that I've ever heard of. Whoa. So. That's pretty close-minded, James. At least it's three countries and not one. Adobe has changed course, like a boat, and will refund Venezuelan customers <laughs> after the company previously announced that they'd be canceling their Creative Cloud subscriptions. 
Adobe originally said that they wouldn't give refunds because Trump's executive order required the cessation of all business activity, which is a pretty sweet excuse. Although it doesn't seem like that plan was even really targeted at regular Venezuelans, but rather to the country's government. Also, Behance is still available, so. Yes! Behance away! Love Behance. Oh. Hmm. Images have leaked of a Zotac GTX 1660 Super, and according to video cards, we'll be seeing the launch of this GPU alongside the GTX 1650 Ti on Tuesday, October 22nd. Tuesday. I guess the 1650 is just below the threshold for being cool enough to get a Super variant. Yeah. So. Sorry, sidekick status. Yeah. AMD doesn't have any graphics hardware on the market right now with ray tracing capability. But if industry sources are correct, there has actually been ray tracing software support in Radeon drivers since July. And we might see it publicly released in December. Ah, I can imagine each one of those beautiful 14 ray traced frames per second that a Radeon 7 will put out. Glorious. Ryzen fans have been waiting for so long for AMD to release the value-oriented B550 chipset in motherboards. And now, eagle-eyed Redditors have spotted one in a cyber-powered pre-built PC available at Best Buy, of all things. That lines up with previous rumors claiming that we'll see a board in pre-built, which also claim that we won't get standalone desktop boards until 2020. So, hold on, bang for buckers. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Uh, and it's not right to continue this episode either, so it's time to stop. <laughs> what? We could keep the, oh. oh come back it. Monday and you, Tuesday and Wednesday. You've had enough? That's enough for, for you? For this week. Yeah, you can keep talking if you want.